Hi guys, just want to start this video off by saying we're so humbled and so thankful for all of your amazing comments. All of you, especially the Filipino community, has made me feel so welcome and we know that we've made the right decision and we're going to move to the Philippines. So this is our fourth video in our series of moving to the Philippines and we've titled it, How Much Is Enough? We've had lots of good questions about our budget and to be honest with you, we're still finalizing things. We didn't want to give you half information. We want to make sure we did our research properly and then we can give you full factual information, which will hopefully help you, like it will help us, make the move to the Philippines. We still have some research to do, so we're gonna bring you that video very shortly. But for this one, we wanted to ask you, anybody who's living in the Philippines or has made the move over there, how much do you think is enough? How much do you think you need to live in the Philippines? Taking into account we just want a simple life. We don't want luxuries. We just want to be happy and comfortable and want to help people. So like we said, there's so many things we're going to cover when it comes to discussing our budget in the Philippines and we want to get our research right first so we can give you good information, factual information and hopefully we can help you along your journey too. Now there's so much to consider when it comes to budgeting for life in a new country. As you may have seen, we're building a house in the Philippines at the moment and we just wanted to address that and discuss that with you. So the house was originally planned as a business like B&B. That's why we are taking our time to finish it. We weren't in a hurry to finish it because we're supposed to retire in 10 years' time. But then when we came to the Philippines and see the location, we fell in love and we decided to convert it as a family home. It might look big, but the reality is we do have plans for the house and what we like to do is obviously we like to live there the three of us but we do have family that i love my family to come over and visit and stay with us jane has family who are going to be going to university soon and we like to offer them somewhere to live in the week when they're at university we don't believe that there's such a thing as too big a house because we'll always make use of it we do want to live a simple life in the philippines we do want to help people and the reason the house is the size it is, is so that we can help people. Now we're not rich people, but we have made sacrifices. So we made sacrifices, we changed our lifestyle, and we um, don't buy things that we don't really need. We only buy essential things. And we keep saving up so we can finish the house. We do believe to live a simple life in the Philippines, we've had to make adjustments here in England because we don't want to go there and just change the way we are. We need to adjust first before we move so we're ready for how we're going to live in the Philippines. Now, sometimes it is easy to make sacrifices, sometimes it's not. But when you think of the big picture, when you think of your goal at the end of it all, then it makes it all worthwhile and it's so much easier to do it. I just want to say thank you for all of your great comments and your feedback and your advice. I'm so humbled by how many of you reached out to us and have welcomed us with our decision to move to the Philippines. So we're back home now and as you can see it's quite a lot of traffic outside. We've had comments from so many people, so many Filipinos who are working overseas at the moment and they really miss the Philippines 
and Jane has been in England for quite a long time now. She misses it back in the Philippines and she can identify with you. When you are overseas, it can be difficult because you're missing home, you're missing the cultures. Being with Filipinos, being with uh, meeting up with Filipinos, it can help a lot. It feels like comforting, especially with the foods, when we do gathering, we bring some Filipino foods and it's really um, make the difference, it feels like home. Now there's no party like a Filipino party. We're noisy. Very noisy, but a lot of fun and a lot of really nice food. We know so many of you at the moment are stranded overseas or you're working hard overseas to save money, to build a house back in the Philippines or to save to come back and have a better life for yourself and your family. And I really respect what you do. Don't lose hope, the pandemic will get better, things will improve, stay strong and we hope one day that your dreams will come true. We thank you very much for joining us on our journey on our move to the Philippines. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. And we're gonna be back soon with a new video.